John, a sun ray for all the Gen 4 of the world. The true story of a Gen 4 from the United States of America. John was born on October 27, 1986 in San Antonio, Texas. When he was three years old, John went to a Mariapolis with his parents. He did many acts of love. He was always smiling, so much that they called his smile the Mariapolis smile. Once in the nursery, two children were fighting. John watched what was happening. He stood up, walked up to them, and said with love, We don't do that here. John liked to give people gifts, and he always loved the party. He liked for everyone to be happy. He didn't like people to be sad, and when John would notice that, he immediately tried to do something for them. One day, for example, his mom and one of his brothers had an argument. He started to sing a song that said, Let's start loving right away. When John was four years old, the doctors discovered that he had a very serious illness. John needed to have a surgery. And mom and dad brought him to the hospital. John had to have painful treatments and he would have liked to leave. But then, he would close his eyes and tell the doctor, It's okay, you can start. When he was suffering, he would ask his mom to sing a song that says, We children are weak, but Jesus is strong. John learned to say, This blood pressure is for you, Jesus. The fever I have is for you, Jesus. Once, another Gen 4 named Natalie, who was also sick in the hospital, had a room near John. They shared their toys and candies with each other. A few months later, Natalie went to heaven. On the day of her funeral, John took a balloon outside and let it float up to heaven because he knew that's where Natalie was. In the hospital, John made a new friend named William. And John always shared his toys with him. During the summer, John went back home. He was excited about the Gen 4 Congress and called his friends and cousins to invite them to come and be with him. Since he was doing better, he could participate. And that day, he did many acts of love and shared his candies with the other children. At the end of the Congress, he said, this was the best day of my life. John often went to church with his mom and dad, and he would pray for all the people he knew who were sick. Once, he asked, Jesus, even though I live in Texas, please help Kara know about me. Every day, a lot of people prayed for John. They sent him gifts, and he sent them lollipops. An elderly lady was going to have the same treatments like John's, but was very scared. John realized that and told her, Don't be afraid of chemotherapy. It doesn't hurt too much. And then she was not afraid anymore. John never gave up. He even ran a race at school. He ran the whole way saying, I can do it! I can do it! John had a very special friend. He was the Archbishop of San Antonio. When John was five years old, the Archbishop went to visit him. And John told the Archbishop, I will go to heaven before you. The Archbishop replied, Please, ask Jesus to keep the doors open so that I can come too. Right after his birthday, John had to go back to the hospital. And the doctor told John's mom and dad that there was nothing more they could do. 
and that John would go to heaven soon. That same day, John told his mom and dad, I'm now five. I'm big enough to receive Jesus in my heart. Mom and dad went to speak to the priest, and he told them that John could make his first communion. John wrote to Kiara, I try to love Jesus, and I tell him, All I do is for you. I like to share my candies and my toys with other children. The day of his first communion, John received a letter from Kiara. Dear John, I send you a big kiss. I'm with you. Here is a new name I've chosen for you, Sunray. One day, John told his mom, I want to give away all my toys, everything, everything. The puppets for Elizabeth, Batman trophy to Adam, and the others to the children who don't have anything. One day, a friend sent to John a Robin Hood set. He had always wanted this. But John looked at it and said, No, thanks. I'm going home now. John was very sick and had to stay in bed. After a while, he couldn't even turn himself over. Mom and Dad would help him, although it would hurt. One night, he said, I wish I could go to heaven. Another time when John's mom could tell that he couldn't see very well, she asked, John, are you afraid? No, John answered. Later on, she heard him sing a song. Holy Spirit, would you hold my hand? Please hold my hand. Then John said, Jesus is here with me. Do you see Mary too? His mom asked. Yes, he answered. The Archbishop went to see him and gave him a blessing. Then he raised his hand over John, and John raised his hand too. Mom spoke to him about paradise. Do you want to go to heaven, John? And he answered, yes. And the next day, John died. Kara wrote to his family. In heaven, John will be happier than ever. A sun ray for you and for all the Gen 4 all over the world. Many people now want to imitate John. One man said, I can't keep myself from what I have. I need to share it because John showed me how to do it. During the funeral mass, the Archbishop said, John always smiled, even though he was suffering so much. His brother Matthew said, It was so nice to be with John, and now John will always be with us.